Well, good morning this Wednesday morning. Welcome to our daily prayers together. Part of the opening prayer we say is that our hearts may be set on fire with love for God. And so in a moment's quiet now, we pause as we come into God's presence with our hearts, with our whole selves, asking for his spirit to speak to us and transform us. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Our reading today is Ruth chapter 2. Um, picking it up at verse 8, uh, Ruth is now harvesting in the field where Boaz is the owner and he meets her for the first time. So Boaz says to Ruth, my daughter, listen to me. Don't go and glean in another field and don't go away from here. Stay here with the women who work for me. Watch the fields where the men are harvesting and follow along after the women. I have told the men not to lay a hand on you, and wherever you, whenever you are thirsty, go and get a drink from the water jars the men have filled. In many ways, we discover a lot about Boaz. He is a great manager, one who cares for not only his people, and you get that sense from the greeting Boaz gave to them in the fields as he enters but also the care he shows this foreign woman. Um, he's instructed his men to take care for her well, and he thinks about what she needs. She's gonna need a drink in the harvesting. It's simple compassion and care and thinking of what needs to be done. Those are deeply Christian virtues. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for this account of the thoughtfulness and care which we heard about in Boaz. Help me as a Christian to be thoughtful of others and their needs and as best I can to look after them. Space for our prayers now. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so as Boaz shows grace and kindness, as the Lord God ultimately shows us grace, so may we go out showing that grace and love to others. So may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>